this video I'm going to entitle Horoscopes Schmoroscopes colon why horoscopes and Cosmo are fucking stupid. When you talk to somebody about astrology, they get all mad because you say stuff like, oh, you're a Pisces, you're emotional. They're like, I'm a fucking Pisces and I ain't emotional, bitch. And you're like, okay, whatever. You probably have your rising somewhere else, okay? I'm not trying to read your goddamn future, you fucking moron. I'm saying that you are a crazy bitch. Don't be trying to, like, hate all up on astrology because someone read you one wrong fortune out of a Cosmo magazine. Who do you think you fucking are? I swear, I think that people in general just kind of, like, they assume the worst about astrology because they don't know anything about it, which is what makes it stupid. Horoscopes in Cosmo, teen people magazine, whatever you read your horoscope in, the newspaper, take that with, like, a grain a grain of salt because that's all it can be with all of the different personalities and all the different worlds all it's going to tell you is what's influencing you and it's going to take something from that influence and give it to you based on your sun sign but it doesn't take into any consideration where your moon falls where your venus falls your mars your rising ascendant is another word for rising so if you hear that it's the same thing i like to say rising because ascendant it kind of brings out my lisp more, and it, it's embarrassing. Horoscopes, yes, it's a part of astrology. It has to do with the stars, the planets, all that kind of things, where they're, where they're going, where they're entering in and out of. Like, honestly, it's kind of sad that, like, the horoscope being one of the, like, more involved astrological things is simplified so much, and that's what they force on you. In reality, what you should be reading about is your own chart before you read anything else. And I want you to read your sun sign first, and then maybe find your rising, and then your moon, and then your Venus, and your Mars, and your Mercury. Like, these personal planets, these are yours. This is what you're supposed to be doing with astrology. This is the reason it's here. Not to fucking tell your future. This is your fucking life. This is what you look at. This is how you discover astrology through your own shit. You don't discover this through reading your Libra horror scope and Cosmo because you know what it's going to say about you? It's going to say that you're indecisive but you're charming. You're really pretty. People like to be around you but you are moody and sometimes you are fucking self-righteous. That's what it's going to tell you and it's going to say that maybe on the 18th you're going to have a really good love day and maybe on the 21st you're going to have a really good career day and you know what? Go tell that horoscope to fuck itself because you know more about yourself than anybody else does. Don't tell it to fuck itself because you don't believe in astrology. Because honestly, if you knew anything, you'd fucking believe in it because it's true. And it can be... You know how you prove astrology? You read your chart and you'll be like, holy fuck. That's exactly like me. And there you go. Then you're like, I'm a believer. I couldn't leave her if I tried. By the way, sorry about my hair. I look really fucking ridiculous right now. These are the things I'm going to leave you with right now. Um, just a couple tools. I think that I may not be allowed to do this for some reason. I'm going to link these below, but you want to go to astro.com. You put in all of your information under the free horoscopes. And then another one is cafeastrology.com. Uh, you got to get to the page where you can put in your natal chart. Look for natal chart. N-A-T-A-L chart. Um, I'll link the two that I go to on a more regular basis down below, but ultimately, like, I Google shit is the best way, or going, I go to, um, Barnes & Noble, and there's a, there's a few really good books that you can get, like, the only astrology book you'll ever need is really good, actually, um, as well as just, like, a couple other ones, even the Astrology for Dummies, it teaches you kind of how to read a, read a chart, but start off with your sun and your rising and your moon first, I would say, get to know what that is, and you'll be on your way to like actually being able to read certain things. But Google. Hey, I'm plugging you, Google, because you need all the help you can get. Oh, hi, Millie. Hi. Look at Paula. There you are. There you are, Paula. Look at you. Oh, you smell good. Did you get a bath? I think you did, but your beard. Hi, my name's Alyssa. I put on a new video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on astrological shit. So subscribe to my channel and. This dog really likes to lick. This is not my dog. This is not my dog. This is not my room. This is Bella's room. <laughs>